Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is an introduction to our workshop and in today's workshop we'll be covering how to do tree-based models. And this is a very intro section, there's a lot that you can do uh, with this. We're not going to be covering foresting, uh, reforesting, or um, bagging, uh, but we may cover that in a future lesson. Uh, so here I've already written the script and what, what we're going to do today is we're basically going to you create a decision tree that determines whether or not someone made it into the Hall of Fame based off of the data that we have available. So the first thing we're going to do is actually let's clear this and uh, let's re-import the make sure you have the basketball and uh, career and season data open but we're just going to use this career data and we're going to load the require tree which means we're going to load the tree library. And then we are going to attach the basketball.career data. And then we're going to create this subset called basketball.qualified. And that, the reason for that is that we have data up to 2011. And I know that it takes five years for someone to qualify for the Hall of Fame. So I don't want to have all this noise of people that should have made it to the Hall of Fame, but uh, are not in there because they haven't had time to qualify. So we'll create that subset. And we're going to use this tree, tree function. And basically, we're going to take Hall of Fame and then we're going to use all these different variables from the regular season and from the postseason and the number of all-star games they played to determine, uh, actually I'm not sure, if, yeah, and the number of all-star games that they played to determine whether or not they should make it to the Hall of Fame. And then I'm going to plot that and then I'm going to use this text dot, uh, whatever your model is, comma pretty so that we can post it here so you can take a look and the way you reinterpret it is that if you go left then uh, that's when the condition is true and you go right when the condition is not true so if they um, played less than 3.5 all-star games then you basically keep answering these questions until you make it to the to at each of these terminal nodes until you make it to the very end so you can see here if you play less than 3.5 all-star games your chances of making it to the Hall of Fame are pretty slim So if we keep running that, next thing we want to do is we want to run a prediction. So we're going to use this model, compare it to how well does it predict Hall of Fame, and the type is equal to class, so how well does it classify the two, and then we're going to create a table that compares the two. So these are the predictions, so no and yes, and then uh, these are the actual data. So the on diagonals are basically where we were correct, and the off diagonals is where we were incorrect. So how did we view? So we we're 98.91903 correct. So what we're going to do is to validate. Uh, oftentimes when we use many different variables, we oftentimes do overfitting. So can we simplify the model and still achieve the same result? So I'm basically doing tenfold cross-validation and I'm doing cross-validation based off of the misclassifications and then I'm using tenfold. We could, you could use a smaller number if you want to as well. And then we're going to plot this. So it looks like to me that 3 is the best, right? Because you see here we get a number of misclassifications greatly reduced at 3. And then it's same between 3 and 5, but we always go for the simpler model. So here I'm going to use this function called prune.misclass. And I'm going to prune our, the tree, uh, the model that we originally created, to the best 3 uh, function uh, variables that we're going to use. So we're going to plot that, put text. So you see here now it's purely based off of, of Hall of Fame. And then we're going to create the table. And you'll see that we were compare the percentages 98.855723 versus 98.91903. You'll see that we gave up about 0.4% but you'll see that this tree model is much simpler to interpret. And so that can go a long way. And remember that there's always this trade-off between interpretability and uh, predictive power of the model. So I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions or comments or any other topics that you want me to cover, if you want me to cover uh, foresting and, and um, bagging, 
uh, and boosting as well, uh, let me know. Just leave it in the comment section below, and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.